All right, so here's a little bit of help for the uh, for the problem where this is a cricket ball, very strange cricket ball. Found this at Oxford. Um, let's see. So this is a help for the problem where we have the maximum um, of the of a distribution that has a, a in this case a power law. We're interested in this. So we have P of k decaying is k to the minus gamma. And we'll say that's in fact quite true, so we'll we'll go a little stronger. We'll say pk equals ck to the minus gamma, k equals 1, 2, right, on. Okay, so we know all about this. We know gamma is greater than 1, because so we are good people. And we're interested in uh, finding min k max. So this is the, um, this is the expected minimum. And so this is going to be a function of n. Uh, minim, um, expected max. Right. The ex, uh, expected max degree and the minimum of that. So it's the min of max degree of sample of size n. Yeah. Total excitement. So. The rough way to do this is to say, okay, this is, and this is not how this distribution looks, but, uh, okay, so we have K, it's decaying, and let's just interpolate it, it's discrete, but we'll just say, okay, let's roughly draw it like this. So what we want to do is say, this is P of K, uh, we'll say this point here is min of K max, providing there's a 1 over N, um, probability that we get at least that value if we sample n times. All right, so from, and that, and that makes, this is it's a rough thing, so if we have n samples, n times 1 over n, which is the chance of getting in there, rule of pro, is, is 1, right? So this is what we're, I mean it equals 1. So we, this is our sort of approximate story. So the setup then is we want to say the sum from k equals min k max to infinity of p of k is equal to 1 over n. So we put the right thing in here, set equal to 1 over n, mess things around, and we should get an expression for this as a function of uh, n and gamma and c, where n is the, uh, c is the constant proportionality, and gamma, of course, is the exponent. So you should see something nice there. And then we do something a little sneakier after that. We think, well, okay, maybe maybe often we're out here. Who knows? So given that we land in this space, what's the expected value of of, um, of a, uh, a sample? So given the sample is at least min k max, what's its average value? That's another setup. All right.